What's up, y'all? I'm on my way to a local pond. As a panfish guy, as a guy who catches a lot of sunfish, I feel like I've done you guys a disservice. There's a very common and very effective method of catching panfish, especially like sight fishing for them when you can see big panfish. If you've ever seen big panfish shallow and you couldn't get them to bite, there's a very effective way to catch those fish that I haven't made any videos on. We're gonna get right to that when we get to the water. I'll show you guys what the heck I'm talking about. And hopefully we can catch some fun fish on ultra. I think I got like two pound test on. So this is gonna be a ton of fun. See you guys here in a bit. y'all what's up here's the setup two pound test ultralight rod ultralight reel and I got this is like a size 11 hook <laughs> I was using size 12s and I, I misplaced that bag but I bought a bunch of assorted sizes and this is a size 11 so small hooks will work notice I have no weight on the line at all the only way it's gonna be that of the uh, worm but we're gonna be fishing weightless worms little tiny pieces this is like a very similar this is like the same exact way that I fish tiny little weighted flies on spinning gear weightless so that it doesn't sink very fast it just really slowly falls that might even be too small of a piece of worm so like that or even a little bigger normally when I do this I use pieces of night crawler but I had some red worms I needed to get rid of but like Look how small of a piece of bait we're talking there. Something like that, smaller, a little bigger. And the hardest part is casting. I was seeing all these panfish swimming around here, so I'll have to keep an eye out for them. But the hardest part is ugh, getting somewhat of a cast. You just watch it fall, jiggle it around. Someone should come and show some interest eventually. Oh, there's a pan, there's a panfish of some sort and I think he's on it yep bluegill look at that that's what we'll be doing today simple and effective and I saw a couple bigger like bluegills and green sunfish in there too and I know there's bass and stuff so with this ultralight ah, poor fish try not to break my rod <clears throat> pretty fish with this ultralight this, this could prove to be fun so let's catch a few of those hopefully a few bigger I just saw a little bit bigger one all right y'all and this is very fun on ultralight if you're ever out getting skunked fishing and you're seeing like tiny fish that you think might even be too small to catch swimming around in the shallows well you got small enough hooks on you and you can use anything as bait you can use a little piece of your lunch that's a good size greenie on there it's a hybrid oh nice nice just that tiny little piece of worm so you can literally take one worm and use it as 20 pieces of bait or more. That's a pretty fish though. Bluegill, green sunfish hybrid. Not a bad size. Alright y'all. I put another piece of worm about the same size on there. Keep on doing the thing. I'm actually sight fishing. I'm just keeping my piece of bait where I can see it. And I'm watching fish go for it. Boom. Look at that. Another monster. She's got a nice... Ow! Goodness! One thing you have to be careful when you're catching 3 inch fish is they will absolutely spine the heck out of you. There's some of the most, most painful things in the world. And there goes the rod. Some of those painful things in the world are tiny little fish. I want to show this to you guys. Super cool little stripes on it. I'd like to get a picture, but thing's gonna just spine me to heck. All right, and I saw, I did see another couple decent sized ones in there. There's one, not bad. Good sized bluegill it looks like. Yep, a little better bluegill. 
interesting colors and markings on the bluegills in here for sure. All right. Well, let's try for a few more before we get out, y'all. I, I I see a couple decent sized ones in there. Let's try to go for a couple of them. I'm jiggling it and I'm just keeping an eye on the, the piece of worm. And more than bluegills that are just a little odd. I don't know where they were stocked from, but they're just kind of pale. So interesting. There's just not a lot of uh, spots or stripes or nothing. Look at that. And then the females we were catching had more stripes than I'm used to seeing. Just a little different than the other local bluegills. I'm not sure where they where they got these fish. Cool. I'm seeing a bunch of medium size. Oh my gosh, casting is very hard weightless. What I recommend doing guys is just an overhead straight up. As long as you release the line at the right time. There's a good one. Another hybrid, wow. All these ones that I was thinking, I was like, oh, there's some good greenies in there. They're all hybrids. Someone stocked a bunch of bluegill green sunfish hybrids in here. It's a good way to have a decent population without overpopulation. Oh, hybrids are cool too. Another little, another little hybrid guy. Let's get him back. All right, y'all, super easy. Comment below if you have any questions, but just put a tiny piece of whatever, a worm, a little crappie nibble, or like a half of one, would it be even better? I've used pieces of egg for my breakfast burrito. I've used a piece of bread. You know, anything works. Little pieces of hot dog or lunch meat, anything. A little small hook, I, rec I recommend a 10 or 12. You can go even smaller. It's like, if you see like them little mosquito fish and tiny baby pan fish in the shallows, all them fish that you think you can't catch, you can go online and trust me, they have size 20, they have size 30, they have size 40 hooks, microscopic. And you can go down a rabbit hole of micro fishing. This is just like the, the, the edge of micro fishing right here. This is like the brink of it. We're gonna catch a few more here. And then let me know if you like this, because I think I'm gonna go after this and film another weightless worm video at a different lake. And I'll keep that in the back pocket and I won't release it unless there's some interest in this. So let's catch a few more, y'all. Fish is going for it. Got him. Another pale bluegill. I don't know if you get to see it today, but every once in a while you get like a bass or something to hit one of these little tiny weightless pieces of worm. And if you're fishing ultralight like I am, oh man, it's a ton of fun. Oh, we got another one. I swear I, I see one panfish down there that's looking bigger than the rest. Is that a hybrid? It's a hybrid. A lot of these green gill hybrids as fish brain has started to call them. And now every kid that catches a green sunfish says that he's got a green gill hybrid. Look at that fish! Hey. Oh my gosh. I don't think there are any pure greenies in there. I think it just was a ton of hybrid stock. That's so crazy. That little guy with that body shape. I was like, that's oh, gotta be a greenie. Nope. Look at that mouth. When you catch a green sunfish, is its mouth ever that small? Also, it doesn't have nearly as pronounced little tiny blue lines on it. That right there is a hybrid. This thing's just loaded with little hybrids. That's so crazy. Oh, there's one. That's a good one. Woo! Oh, his mouth's all deformed. Look at that thing. The deformed hybrid. You guys want to go fishing? You go fishing? <laughs> Look at it. You want to go fishing? What is wrong with that fish? Derpy. Derpy. The derpy hybrids. Oh, it's just a big hybrid. The uh, And there is a bass in there that was going for it too. 
The big one I keep seeing, the big sunfish, is a real big hybrid. I got a good look at him that time. Decent bluegill. Remain as calm as possible. I think that's the hybrid we've been looking at, guys. Yeah, that's it. That's the big one. Oh, wow. That's definitely a hybrid. That's the big one, all right, folks. Wowzers. Goodness. Look at that. For this pond, that's a chunker. Chunk stir. Not bad. This is one of them, they look like they were spawning in there. I saw this one and a little smaller female and they were all trying to spawn. They are swirling all around and stuff. Nice! There's one. Oh yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, that's another chunk. Wow. Dang, boy. Not bad, dude. Better colors than the last one, too. The other one was just kind of darker. I wish I had a bigger piece of worm because there's like the bass or whatever it is. Oh, he didn't hit it, but a good sunfish did. A good sunfish did. Wow. Dang. <laughs> fatties. There are fatties in there. Dang. Three fatties in a row. Not bad, dude. Golly. Sheesh, they're pretty. All right, we keep casting center. Let's try right and left. Let's try like over there. Maybe someone's over there chilling. There's bass. Good bass. Nice. He's going to get all wrapped up in the grass, I'm sure. Yep. There he is, though. There's the fish. On, on two-pound test, I don't know if I want to lift him up. Probably going to break it. If he flops, he'll break it. Ooh, we got him, though. We got him. I told you they're a little more fun when that happens. Look at that, right in the corner of the mouth. All right, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up, I think, on that fish. I think we'll call it. All right, y'all, this will be the last fish. That was a little more fun on the on the two pound test on the ultralight, but he smacked that little tiny piece of worm and went with it. <laughs> Probably just under a pound. Not bad, man. He wasn't. There was a bigger one I kept seeing cruise by, like close to twice his size. But I'll take him. It was good bass on the ultralight, man. So anyway, I might film another video or two with this method. Maybe a creek, maybe a bigger lake. Let me know what you guys think if you're interested. Like I said, if you see a bunch of fish and they're just teasing you, you know those days where you're not catching anything but you see the fish shallow, just, just have a rod ready with this and go grab some worms and just catch some fish. It's a lot more fun than not. <laughs> Let's get this guy back. Whee! That'll be it for now. Thanks for watching y'all. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, stay tuned for more fishing videos with this method and plenty of other methods to catch all types of species. It's fun out there. Fishing's good, y'all. What's up y'all, if you like panfish or ultralight fishing, you're gonna like this video. I just got done filming a challenge, weightless worms, fishing just little tiny pieces of weightless worms, tiny hooks, casting them out and seeing what we can catch on them. And uh, we're at this little pond and I caught a bunch of nice panfish and I actually ended it with a nice bass, which was a ton of fun on the ultralight. So here's what we're gonna do. 
we got a couple places I want to try. A little bit bigger lake than this pond I tried. And then a tiny little creek. And I'm going to try to hit both those places up with this weightless worm method. And uh, there should be some like pan fish, some bass. The creek might have some creek chubs and stuff too. We'll see. But let's go see what we get into. Hop around to a couple spots. Just catch a couple fish. Super easy method that you can do, you know, at home. And you can catch fish the same way I am here. Let's get right to it. Let's catch some freaking fish. We're going to start at the lake and then we're going to head to the creek. <laughs> 